Hey guys, it's Llewellyn here. So I have a little bit of a different video to go ahead and share with you today. So I'm doing a super grocery haul stock up. We're talking at least double what I would normally do with everything going on with the coronavirus going on and just kind of like things being crazy in store as far as supplies. I want to get my family stocked up with some essentials that we need since we're going to be kind of taking it easy these next couple of weeks. So I wanted to share with you exactly what I'm stocking up on and share some tips on how my family is preparing for everything that is going on today. I'm actually just in my local library. I did go through my pantry, find some food donations and things to donate. And I'm on my way to two stores to do a super stock up. And one of them is Walmart. And one of them is my Kroger affiliate store, Mariano's. So with everything kind of going on with the virus and a lot of people are getting into a crazy panic, that's one thing that I am not doing. Um, I've just found I'm a very anxious person. Me getting into a panic is very easy for me to do. And in this situation, that's one of the things that I decided to change in the new year is not to let everything kind of drive me crazy because it's not gonna help the situation, right? It's not gonna make it any better. So the best thing that I can do is be on my top game for my family, for my kids. Um, number one, I wanna keep all of them healthy as best as I can. So you know, providing them with the supplies they need. The kids have their little hand sanitizers on their book bags. I'm constantly telling them, you know, just make sure after lunch at school, you wash your hands. If someone's in your space, you know, tell them, excuse me, can you give me a little bit of room? We don't want people on top of us. We don't want, you know, kids to get happy. They're touching and, you know, high-fiving and all that stuff. Right now, unfortunately, it's just time to kind of like you know, just halt that stuff for a while until everything, hopefully, prayers um, do sizzle down and get better. So with my husband, you know, at his job, making sure that we have antibacterial wipes in the car, I have them in my purse, um, readily available just to kind of clean surfaces, even my own surfaces that I'm using, you know, if my husband's driving, you know, just to keep everyone, you know, healthy. That is the main goal. Um, I want to keep the home healthy too. So having cleaning supplies and things like that. And because I coupon and I have a great stockpile, that was not a worry for me. I have all of those supplies. The only thing I need to stock up on is food because we have been kind of going week by week grocery shopping. And when you do that, you don't really build up a ton of stockpile. Although I do have a pretty good freezer section or freezer amount at home. So I'm happy with that, but we need other staple items to get us stocked up for the next couple of weeks. So in total, I have $400 today. Not sure if I'm going to use it all, but the items that I'm going to stock up on are some things that we're doing as well with the virus going on is we're not eating out. So we're not going to restaurants and we're not ordering in takeout food. Um, just because with the handling of food and just everything, it's just something that we are doing just to keep ourselves safe. So having food at home and food that the kids and that we want to eat is really important. And I'm on a gluten-free diet. So anyone who's on a restricted diet at this time, it's good to go ahead and stock up because my food tends to get very limited pretty quick. Um, and you know, you go to the store and gluten-free foods aren't always like readily available. There's not just a ton to choose from. There's a lot to choose from a lot more than years past, but it's good to have a, you know, stock of that. Um, one other thing that we are doing is, um, one thing that I did just went through all of our medical supplies, cold meds, which I had, I had everything, you know, pain relief, bandages, first aid things, just everything. So I don't have to run back and forth to the store. Cause that's what I'm trying to avoid as much as possible, um, with the things that we need and, um, prescriptions. A big thing is if you have anyone who has medical needs as far as medicine and, and, you know, this always happens is you check your prescription, you're running low and you realize that it needs a doctor's refill um, authorization before it can be refilled. Check those now, guys, because you just want to make sure that you have everything that your family needs. My husband has a... Um, sleep apnea machine. So it's really important to have distilled water. And for a while in our area, distilled water, it was like 
a rare thing to find. It was like selling out a lot. So I'm going to stock up on supplies like that so that everyone has what they need. And guys, utilize in-store when you are shopping. I noticed so many more stores are putting those little hand wipe containers and things like that. Take advantage of them. Use those supplies. Clean your cart, um, you know, and yeah, just do those little precautionary things. Like for the kids, for their book bags, they each have a hand sanitizer that they are using. Um, I have, you know, hand sanitizer in the car. All that good stuff. Just make sure that those supplies, that you have them. And if you're running low, it might be smart to just go ahead and grab a few. And I also gave some to the teachers. So if you have teachers out there, you know, they need a little bit of love now too because they're keeping our kids um, healthy as best as they can in the classroom. So if you have extra supplies or if you're going to the store, grab some for those teachers. So it's really crazy because the only aisles at my store that are super packed are the Easter candy aisles. Nobody is touching this aisle. I have to say all the other aisles like pasta, pasta sauce, macaroni, raviolis, beans, rice. Very, very slim. Check this out, guys. Live it one per customer. Toilet paper, sanitizer, sanitizing wipes. That is why it is good to start a stockpile, um, even if you're starting today, um, for times like this. And check it out. They are completely wiped out of toilet paper, all of those supplies here today. All right, so I am home. Here is a little pick of everything that I grabbed at the store today, guys. It took me four hours in Walmart and in one other store, and really the bulk of it was in Walmart. There are a lot of things that are clearing out pretty quickly, so definitely best advice I could give you is you don't have to run to the store like crazy, but you might want to think about it this weekend, maybe just grabbing a couple of extra groceries, a couple of extra necessities that you need for your house, um, just for peace of mind. And I'll give you guys some tips at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So I'm going to start over here at the end. I did get, we drink the Organic Valley grass um, milk here, the whole milk. These are like $5 each, so those are pretty pricey. Um, I got the kids a couple of Gatorades and us just... To stay a little hydrated. Now my son drinks these Protein Plus Bolt House Farm drinks. These are a little bit cheaper. I do have the naked drinks down there that cost a little bit more, but um, he really likes this chocolate flavored. So I grabbed two of those. Um, these are a go-to snack, the Sargento Balanced Breaks. Really, really good. I got the kids. This is the bread that they like. Some cream cheese. I got some gluten-free bagels coming up. I did get some Italian beef just for a really quick dinner. Um, my family can have the French rolls with the beef. And then there's some peppers here somewhere. Some organic blackberries. Some tomatoes. Oh, here is the, it's right here. Here is the uh, Jardiner mix there. All right, some gluten-free breadcrumbs there. Some grapes. Um, I wanted to get the organic grapes. Let me tell you, like the fruit and stuff was really getting picked over as well. Um, so there were a lot of things that were like, there was no toilet paper, no hand sanitizer, nothing like that. All of that was sold out and stores are actually limiting them. Now my kids love these. I can't stand them, but I grabbed a couple of them just for like a quick tight dinner. I did get some paper plates. Um, and since we're not eating out or we're not ordering in, I did grab more snacks than usual just so that we'd have them on hand, you know, since we're going to be in the house, kind of hanging out, wanted to make it as comfortable as we can. Um, a big old Tropicana orange juice. We needed like ketchup and mayo. So I got the Sir Kensington. We've had these. And then I wanted to try the actual um, ranch dressing. Um, some hot dog buns. We have some hot dogs here. The Applegate Naturals. I loved chopped salad. I like it better than regular salad. So I did get two of the Walmart brands, the Southwest, and then the Avocado Ranch. Lemons for some of my lemon water. Some cuties, some potatoes, peanut butter. These I have not tried. So I'm kind of interested in trying these. Um, these gluten-free buffalo style bites. So it's from Golden Platter All Natural. I've not heard of this brand. Let me know if you like those or if you've tried them or if you have a um, like buffalo style chicken gluten-free 
that you do like. Got the kids some chocolate milk. We've got some Italian ice and Udi's gluten-free lasagna. We can have this for dinner. I can have some a little bit of salad with it. Um, I'm not sure what the servings is on this. Three and a half, so it's perfect for our family of four. Um, Nutri-Grain Kids, the Strawberry Blast. The kids did ask for Fruit Loops, so I grabbed a box of Fruit Loops. And then this was the Kroger three-day, one of their three-day deals. This was $6.99 for this big old box of chips, so I grabbed one of those. I got two packages of the Ground Bison, 90% lean, 10% fat. These are under $6 at Walmart. Um, what else do we have here? Here are those Applegate hot dogs. These are a little bit pricey, guys. You only get six, but as far as hot dogs, they're a pretty pretty good hot dog. Um, so I think they're like $5 for those. Some of the Banza, we will have um, like probably make spaghetti and meatballs. And we don't need two packages for our meal. We'll use like one package for all of us. Some of the Jellos, these were Kroger sale priced for $1.49. They've got the five times thing going on. Um, toaster strudel, these were $2. Did get some cookies and cream ice cream. Now for our smoothies, I got a couple of bags of the Great Value Fruits. So we got two of the Berry Medleys and then one of the um, High in Antioxidant Fruit Blends. All right, we got some organic gala apples. I did get a case of White Claw underneath there. We have some Cherry Coke Zero. I've never tried Cherry Coke Zero, so I'm gonna give that a try. Mac and cheese, let me tell you, the mac and cheese aisle was like bare. Mac and cheese was completely gone. I think the only thing that they had available were the instant cups. That cost a little bit more, but um, still are not a bad value. I did get some silk almond creamer. Here are those naked drinks. This is the go-to for my son. He likes the double berry. So I got two of those. We did get some spaghetti sauce. Two dozen eggs there, the Eglin's Best Organic. Um, my daughter loves these pepperoni pizza natural choice um, little sandwiches. So I got three of those. We got some Ezekiel low sodium bread. We got a little bit of butter they did not have. Normally we get the butter tubs, but like I said, they're really thinning out on a lot of products. So we had to go, this was like the only one that they had, unless we wanted to go with like margarine or something. Um, Applegate chicken and maple breakfast sausages. We got some Applegate bacon, some Applegate turkey, some Swiss cheese. These are a really good cracker if you like, well, if you're eating gluten-free, the Mary's Gone Crackers. I do like the garlic and rosemary. They're pretty good. Um, I like to get the Walmart chocolate drinks. Um, they didn't have them though, so I went with the Atkins. Kind of had to, a lot of things I had to kind of just compromise with what they had in store. Now Kroger has a really good deal on oatmeal. I think it's through Tuesday. Those were 99 cents. And now that I look at it, I got fruit and cream. I thought I got a different variety pack, but still for 99 cents, a really good deal. All right, we're on the other side here. We are almost done. Um, we got a 12 pouches of the organic cinnamon applesauce. There's a six pack of Diet Pepsi. My husband sometimes likes to take those to work. Um, these bagels are so good. These are the everything bagels, the Canyon Bakehouse. I did get some Kool-Aid jammers. I normally wouldn't, but they're 99 cents at Kroger, so I did grab some of those. We've got some organic chicken breast tenders. These are so good, the Purdue, so, so good. Um, a bag of the Simply Cheetos Puffs. And I got a couple of juices. So we have an organic lemonade. We have an organic apple juice, um, some cookies. Here we have, I've never tried the pomegranate. These are the fig bars. I did get the kiddos some Little Debbie birthday cakes. Those look really cute. We love the Minute Brown Rice. These are so easy, these cups. And rice was sold out pretty much. So um, gluten-free cookies. We've got a pork tenderloin. Here is a big old container of Vienna beef for uh, beef sandwiches. So this was everything that I grabbed today. Now, one thing I do wanna say is a lot of things were sold out. Do not panic. Um, definitely check at other stores. So some things that they did not have, um, if you remember in store, I showed you that aisle with the paper products that was completely wiped out. So we're talking no paper products, no toilet paper, no paper towels, um, things like that were completely gone. Hand sanitizer, hand wipes, soap. Um, you know, you can always go, you can always check online, number one, at other stores like Amazon, things like that. 
although some of them are really high priced. Or you can go to your little stores like Walgreens and CVS. I did stop in there and there were supplies there. Um, other aisles, like I said, the mac and cheese aisle, the rice, um, those aisles were crazy. Pizzas were going like crazy because it's really easy to just stock up on simple foods. Um, you know, I have a lot of meat in our freezer downstairs, so we have a ton of chicken. So you didn't see any chicken in this haul, but we've got a ton of chicken and a ton of other meats down there. So I didn't really focus on that. And like I said, since we are staying in, I wanted to go ahead and grab some snacks. So like when we want to do a movie night, we have snacks readily available and things like that. And like I just mentioned earlier in the video, you know, go through your pantry. If you have soups, if you have mac and cheese, if you have tuna, things like that, those are all simple meals that you can go ahead and make, you know, maybe stock up on a couple freezer items for breakfast um, or make sure that you have like the mixes to make like pancakes or waffles, just really simple foods. Same things with lunches and dinners, you know, grabbing like the Applegate lunch meat, just simple little things to kind of have those little extras just in case the stores get even more crazy. That is always a good thing to have. And then water, I know like water and stuff, they're limiting cases. So definitely if you find some water, I would definitely recommend grabbing a case or two to have on hand. All right guys, so thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I just wanted to show you kind of what we're doing. We're not panicking here. We're just um, taking little simple steps to make sure that we have food, that we're all staying healthy, that we're doing everything that we can do at this time. And to look out for your neighbors, especially if you have an elderly neighbor, if they need any supplies like water or anything and you can help them out, definitely do so. Um, we have the power to really help each other. And you know, we're all a team here, we're all in this together. So we all need to help each other to get through this time. But on that note, I wanna wish you guys um, a fantastic day. Love for me to you, have a great day. Thanks for watching.